Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to solder automotive wiring. Let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, you're going to need some wiring guys, uh, also some heat shrink tubes, uh, a good soldering iron, some rosin core solder. Once you have those items, you should be good to go. Of course, you're going to have to prep your wiring. Go ahead and get your wire strippers and uh, strip each end of the wires that you're going to be soldering together. And I've already got some prepared, of course, but I did want to show you how to strip your wires. Method number one, and before you start this, be sure your, your soldering iron is good and hot and ready to solder. And the way you can tell if your soldering iron is good and hot and ready to go, just take a little solder to it, and if the solder starts to melt, which it's doing right now, then you know it's hot enough. All right, let's go ahead and get into method number one here. We're just going to take these two wire ends here, and we're going to join them just by pushing them together. We're going to kind of mesh them together. Let's see if I can get a little better there. Yeah, it's a little sloppy, but you get the idea. And I'm going to put the heat shrink tubing on afterwards. Before you go to solder your wires, you're not going to have open ends like I do on this. Put your heat shrink tube on the wire that you're wanting to solder first. That way, you don't have to cut the wire to put the heat shrink tube back on and you got to solder it again. <laughs> so, uh, I've never done that before, guys. Uh, honest. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and heat your wiring up. Once you got your wiring good and hot, you can then go ahead and start to apply your solder to it. And it doesn't take a whole lot, but you, you really can't overdo it. You see, it kind of wicks into the wiring once it's hot enough. do it for that one. Method number two, and this is going to require that you strip your wires a little further back. I'm just going to take them and twist them together just like so. Just like that. It's a little sloppy, but once you put your solder on there, it'll be just fine. And heat your wires up. Once they've been heated up, go ahead and add your solder to them. Like I said, whenever you got your wires hot enough, that solder will just wick right in, right into the wires. There you go. All right, and method number three: just take your wires and twist them together like this. It'll come out the top like that. It's gonna. Kind of do a little L. I'm just going to heat those up and solder them together. Be careful, guys. These wires can get hot. Let's go ahead and solder these together here. Set that aside and let it dry. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our work here. Uh, this is method number one. And let's go ahead and try to pull them apart. And I'm using a considerable amount of force on that. Uh, like I said earlier, that was kind of sloppy on that one, but you get the gist of it. Uh, you really want them to kind of come together evenly like that. But uh, that would work. That'd be just fine. I'm going to set that to the side there. This is method number two where we twisted them together, but uh, kept them in a straight line there. And oh, I'm actually pulling the sheathing off the wires there. Well, that is very, very strong. I'm pulling very, very hard on that. Number three. Same thing on that. I'm, pulling, I'm actually pulling the sheathing off the wire. Um, but we're going to go ahead and heat shrink these. On method number three, though, what you need to do is we're going to have to lay this over. It looks something like that, and then we're going to slip our heat shrink over that. And I actually got some solder down in this area. I should have stayed away from that, but um, kind of lay it over so you can get the heat shrink on there more like that right there so let's go ahead and put our heat shrink on all right and uh, I want you guys to pretend that this is a heat gun and not a lighter 
Uh, <laughs> I, I left my heat gun at work. Please excuse me. Uh, you do want to use a heat gun for this, uh, an automotive uh, heat gun. Um, open flames around vehicles is not really a good idea, and you're fixing to see me do it, but I'm letting you know, uh, do use a heat gun for this, okay guys? I'm just going to heat this up, straight down this uh, heat shrink tubing, and this is going to create a weather tight seal, and it's also going to uh, keep it from uh, shorting out to other wires and, and any grounds or anything like that, so it's going to not only shield it from the elements, it's going to shield it from other wires and stuff too, so this is going to insulate it. I did it enough to where you start to see that stuff ooze out of each end there, and it looks really, really handsome when you're done. Uh, I, I love heat shrink tubing. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend using electrical tape to tape up your solder, so use heat shrink tubing. Number two here. beautiful that doesn't look too bad let's get number three well there you go guys method number one two and three uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, just comment down there below. Also read the entire description about this before you do it. And always uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. Take it easy.